This video is designed to help guide you through the screens of the MEARTR Revision 4.0 in order to set up and optimize your inverter charger. Other revisions may show slightly different screens, but this video should get you through the basics of programming. Please note that this video is not meant to go over every possible scenario, but rather give you an idea of how to program your system for your particular setup. Please refer to your owner's manual for more in-depth information. Starting at the main screen of your MEARTR, press Setup. 01 System Setup should be blinking. Turn the round select knob to highlight Charger Setup. Press the select knob to select this menu. The first screen that pops up is 03A AC Input Amps. This is how many amps you're allowing the inverter charger to take from your AC source. You'll want to make sure this setting is either equal to or less than the capability of your AC source. For instance, if you're plugging into a 15 amp outlet, you'll adjust this setting down to 15 amps or less. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the select knob to adjust. Press select to save. Turn the knob to change the menu to 03B low VAC dropout. This is how low of a voltage we will accept from an AC source before the inverter will disconnect from the AC source and take over the load itself. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to adjust. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 03C battery type. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to adjust the setting to your particular battery type. You can choose from gel, flooded, AGM1 for Lifeline AGM batteries, AGM2 for most other brands of AGM, CCCV for lithium, or custom to set the voltages recommended to you by your battery manufacturer. In our case, this system is connected to gel type batteries so we will adjust the setting to gel. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 03D absorb done. Press select. From here, you can adjust the absorb done reason to time, amps, or SOC. It is always recommended to check with your battery manufacturer for recommendations on how long to absorb for. In our case, we know that our batteries need to absorb for two hours, so we will select time. From here, we can adjust the amount of time we will absorb for. Turn the knob to adjust this setting. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 03E max charge. This gives us the options of how high of a charge rate we want to charge our batteries at and how long is the absolute maximum we want them to charge for. As always, refer to your battery manufacturer for suggestions on how much charging current you can put into your batteries at any given time. Press select to edit these settings. With rate blinking, you can turn the knob to adjust this setting. We know for our system that we should only use 80% of the total charging capacity, so we will adjust this setting to 80. Press select to save. For time, this is a safety net so that if your batteries never hit a stop reason, then we will override our charging parameters and stop charging altogether. So preferably this should be a high enough number that hopefully you never reach. Turn the knob to adjust this setting. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 03F final charge stage. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to adjust the setting from multi-stage, float, and silent. Descriptions of these stages can be found in your manual. Generally, we recommend leaving this setting at multi-stage unless you really need to change it. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 03G, always start charge in bulk. Our system is engineered to go through the multiple stages of charging, unless your batteries seem full enough that they don't need a full charge. In this case, if your 12 volt battery bank was sitting 
at at least 12.7 volts before we started charging, the inverter charger would immediately go into a float stage of charging rather than going through bulk and absorb again. This would equate to 25.4 volts for a 24 volt battery bank and 50.8 volts for a 48 volt battery bank. If you need the system to start fully charging your batteries no matter what the voltage is reading, press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to enabled and press select to save. Please note that the vast majority of systems do not need this feature enabled and should be left disabled as per factory defaults. Now that you have successfully entered in your charging parameters, you can press and hold meter for three seconds to get back to the main screen.